Hey guys, it's Thomas from bookbeam.io, the self publisher of marketing toolset. And today what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you how you can publish your very own ebook to Amazon in 2019. We've actually had a video like this on our channel for quite a while, but it's been getting quite dated. It's there, so it's been sitting there for a couple of years now. And I thought since it's helped quite a few of you guys, I thought it would be good to have a newer version uh, up there and available for you. Now, the process is quite simple and straightforward, but before you can upload an ebook, you first need to register, and there are a couple of steps there that you need to take care of. So I'll be showing you how to get, uh, how to do that first. And after we're done with that, we'll go through the, all the steps that you gotta go through to get your ebook up on Amazon. Let's take it away. So the first thing that you'll need to do is go to kdp.amazon.com and this is what the page is going to look like. And what you're gonna do is click this sign up button right here. And that is going to bring you over to this page where it's going to, where KDP is going to ask you to sign in with your existing Amazon login. So if you have one, just enter all of your details in here. But if you don't yet have an Amazon account, that's fine as well. You can click create your KDP account right down there at the bottom. And that's what I'm gonna do for this, uh, for this tutorial. Enter your name, your email, uh, your password, and then click create your KDP account. Now what's happening here is it's asking me to verify my email address. Uh, sometimes Amazon is going to do that, other times not. If it does, just go to your email and check the verification code that they've sent you and paste it in over here. Then the next thing that KDP asks us to do is to go over the terms and conditions and the agreement and to agree or to not agree to what's laid out in here. So and of course, because we want to publish on Amazon, we are going to agree to this agreement. If you want to, of course, you can go over the agreement in more detail, learn about it. Of course, that can be very helpful, but I've already done that in the past. So, so for now, I'm just gonna click agree and go to the next step. All right, so here we have a totally fresh new Amazon KDP account with no books here, of course. But one thing that it is still asking us to do is to complete our account information. Uh, before we do that, we can't really yet publish any books to, to Amazon. So here, click update now. Or you can also go to, to your account. Here's Thomas's account, whichever way works for you. And then you're gonna have to fill out all of these three main um, information uh, points. First, information about yourself, then banking information, and lastly, you'll need to fill out a tax form. So first off, where do you live in? I'll put in Latvia in here. It asks us for our address and so on and so forth. And so here getting paid is all about uh, banking as I already touched on. Enter your all of the banking details that you can find with your uh, bank. You probably already have them somewhere, so just enter them here. And this, this should be pretty straightforward. It actually used to be much more of a hassle, especially for international uh, publishers like myself, but now it's becoming a lot, a lot uh, better, a lot easier. And you know, it's possible to uh, receive payments to a variety of different banks. So start with your start with your country up here and then this all of these fields are going to open up for you uh, down down here below. And once you're done with your banking information, click add. It's going to save your um, your payment details and you know, you're not going to have to return to it ever unless you unless you want to, right? And then lastly, you're going to have to fill out a tax form um, or a digital tax interview where you just answer a bunch of questions. It's mainly something that Amazon needs to provide to the IRS, to the Internal Revenue Service of in the USA. So here for most of you, you're gonna be operating as an individual. So fill out all this information as it relates to you and your specific situation. Fill out your tax identity information, your name, your citizenship, uh, your address, and also enter your tax identification number right here. If you're not a citizen of USA, you will have a non-US TIN right here. Or if you are, of course, you'll, you'll check this button and uh, you'll enter it right here. And then after that, you can just click this continue button after you fill out all the fields. And then you're gonna have to look once again at all of your answers to uh, check it, to check if you entered everything correctly. And then you can just uh, submit it 
submit this form and pretty much be uh, done with it. So once again, go to kdp.amazon.com and click sign in. And to create a new title, click right here, plus Kindle ebook. Then it's most likely going to ask you to log in once again, just to confirm that um, that is really you who is trying to do this uh, activity. Enter your password and we should be good to go. All right. So first off, uh, at the moment, the ebook publishing process is divided to, Amazon has divided it into three sections. First is the initial details, then is the ebook content, which means the cover, the content, and everything that's related to that. And then lastly is you decide the pricing. So here, enter your uh, book title, whatever it is. For this uh, walkthrough, I'm entering your book title. If you have a subtitle, you can enter it here, or you can also do this, because what the subtitle essentially is going to be is it's going to enter a colon after your title and then is gonna be your subtitle here. So it, it doesn't really matter too much, just you can use their um, fields that they provide for you, title and subtitle over here. What it will change though is some of the information that when your ISBN gets registered, but again, it's it's not really very, very uh, critical and not really that it changes much. And moving forward, uh, we have the series. If your book is a part of uh, a series, you can enter it here. Then is the edition number, if you have some edition number. For most of you, it's not gonna be really applicable. Then here, enter your uh, author name. Now you can choose to enter your own name, of course primary choice, or you can also choose to publish under a pen name. That is totally up to you and that is totally allowed by Amazon. And also a third option what you can do is you can also publish under a company name, but that in most, depending on what kind of books you're publishing, that's probably the least uh, recommended choice just because people find it a lot easier to connect to other people and usually it's gonna help your uh, brand to have um, either your own name or um, a pen name there. All right, you can also, if there are any contributors, of course, you can uh, always add them over here. This is optional, this is not mandatory. The mandatory one is the author name. Then your description goes here, which we'll talk about in the next, uh, in one of the next lessons. Then Amazon asks you about publishing rights. Is this a public domain work? Meaning it, the copyright is not exclusive to you because the, your content is exclusively made by you or your ghostwriter, you're gonna select this one. I own the copyright and I hold the necessary publishing rights. Then enter your seven keywords that you want to rank for or aim to rank for that are relevant to your book. Enter them over here. This again, we're going to be looking at more closely in one of the next lessons, just because I don't want to cram too much information in this lesson here. It's gonna be easier to digest if, if we break it down and look at each of these bits and pieces, these Amazon optimization points uh, more closely in separate lessons. And likewise here for categories, uh, again, the same. You can select the categories that you feel are most relevant to uh, your book. And then afterwards, just because this selection that is uh, available right here, it's not as complete. Amazon actually has thousands and thousands of um, different categories available. And a lot of them actually are not uh, included in here. And what you can do is you can always go and you can actually contact them and ask them to put your book in any specific category uh, of, of your choice. But again, we'll look at this in, in the upcoming lessons more closely. Then next, if you're publishing a children's book, you can select an age range and also a grade, US grade range. Again, applicable only for children's books. But if your book is a children's book, this can be helpful for the buyers, for you know the parents to decide whether it's a good purchase or not. And the more happy the customers are, of course, when, when they make their uh, good purchases, the right purchases, the more good reviews you're gonna have and the better the sales are gonna be and, and so forth. Then KDP also offers us, allows us to uh, do a, a pre-order offer, but unless you have some unique strategy or you have some big audience and you have some unique launch strategy in mind, it's, it's not really applicable. So I just leave, I am ready to release my book now. Then click save and continue. And it's going to bring us over to step number two, part number two, Kindle ebook content. 
So one of the first things that it asks us, do we want to enable digital rights management? So it's a, a system we could call it. It's a setting that uh, Kindle offers us, that Amazon offers us to inhibit unauthorized distribution of the Kindle file of your book. So they're going to protect it. How you go about this, what you choose to do here in this step is entirely up to you. But a lot of people, myself included, actually like to uh, not enable it just because um, spreading, having your book, um, allowing more free sharing for your book can have a positive effect. The general thinking around this is that if people receive your book and they benefit from it, this is beneficial to your brand. And perhaps, yes, perhaps they do not spend the, the couple of dollars to acquire your book. But if they like your content, there is a high chance they might buy something else from you in the future. And of course, it expands your audience and how aware people are of you and your work. So that might be beneficial, but again, totally up to you. And in vast majority of cases, you're not really gonna, it's not gonna make much of a difference which one you choose here. You're not really gonna feel it in much in sales. At the beginning, it's more of a philosophical question for you. What is your stance? What is your perspective here? But all right, moving on. So here you're gonna upload your ebook manuscript. So the allowed formats are .doc or .docx, which are Microsoft Word files, just standard Microsoft Word files but they also allow for HTML files, for Mobi files, EPUB. Mobi is a custom uh, Kindle file. EPUB is a Nook file, and then a couple of others, KPF being the Kindle Create file, and probably a couple of more. So, all right, upload your ebook manuscript here. Just select it wherever it is on your computer. I'm just gonna select some file here for our demo. So select wherever your file is located on your, um, on your machine, on your computer, and just wait for it to upload. Depending on how many, you know, on how heavy the file is, how many images you've got going on there, that's what's gonna be determining the time of upload. But just give it some time, and then afterwards, it's going to be processing your file. The next step is to upload a cover. KDP does offer a cover creator, but it's not really that good, at least not at the moment. So as we went through in the earlier lessons, you got a cover created for you either on Fiverr or on Upwork. And so here you're just gonna be uploading that cover file. And so here, just upload that cover file. Again, find it wherever it is on your computer. And again, wait until it uploads. Once it's done with uploading, it's going to be just like for the manuscript, it's gonna process the file for a little while, usually a couple of minutes or even less. Here you have the option to preview your file to see what it's going to uh, look like on Kindle e-readers, on phones, on tablets. But since we kind of thought about this already earlier, we don't really need this uh, feature. Although it can be, you know, if you're curious, it can be useful. Then in rare cases, if you have some ISBN, a custom made ISBN, you can enter it here, but you don't need it. Also, you can enter your publisher name if you want to here as well. Once you're happy with this section, once you've entered the information as you want it, click save and continue, and you're gonna be brought to this last section titled Kindle eBook Pricing. So here, the first question, the first thing to, um, select or not select is to enroll your book in KDP Select. So I'm gonna click enroll because KDP Select, it can be uh, really, really good, really, really useful, especially if you're just starting out. Again, KDP Select is one of the things that we'll be talking about in module two in the later lessons. Then we have the option to uh, select the distribution rights, which territories we have uh, distribution rights. For vast majority of case, cases, if there is no special exception for you, then it's all territories right here. So you have, we have worldwide rights to, to publish the works and to, to sell it. And then we get to royalty and pricing. Okay, so here we have two royalty plan options. We have either 35% option and 70%. So I'll opt for 70 here. And once we choose 70, we only can uh, price our book within this range. And if we choose 35%, we have a, a, much, a much wider range. So KDP is kind of incentivizing us to put our book in this, um, 
in this keep our book keep our ebook priced in this price range just because it's going to, going to give us a higher royalty rate for every purchase so that comes out to around two dollars for every purchase it ends up in your pocket and just you can go through all of these different um, marketplaces and optimize uh, the price point it's going to have automatically an automatically converted price point from the one that you enter here and all of the other ones a lot of the times they come out to be a bit random so I like to have them more optimized so here we see uh, for Canada it's four dollars and one cent instead I prefer to have three dollars and ninety nine cents and so on and so forth until you've uh, filled out all of the fields over there and then the last two points are matchbook and book landing matchbook is basically a program that allows people who have purchased your uh, print book from Amazon to get your Kindle ebook at a discounted price so you can select it whether it's going to be just 99 cents so if they already have the print book is the Kindle book going to be just 99 cents or is it going to be free for them this is just a good uh, can be a good way to you know sweeten the deal for your customers you can also mention it in your description at some point later on when you have your print book out there if they purchase your print book they're going to get the kindle book for uh, a discounted price but this again is is optional and a uh, book lending is not optional if you select the 70 percent royalty rate right there and that's that's all when it comes to uploading your book to Amazon once once you've filled out all of the fields you have uploaded your cover and your manuscript click publish your Kindle ebook right here and that's it you're done your book is going to be reviewed by Amazon if they see any type of errors usually that doesn't happen they take some time to review the book and if they're happy with it your book is going to be online and available for purchase on Amazon one thing I will mention is make sure to get your title right and your author, the author field right. So if you make any mistakes in those fields, Amazon is not really going to allow you to make changes. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this information valuable, please leave this video a like and also do not forget to subscribe so you can get notified when we release new videos. And just one last thing before you go, I would like to invite you to get a free copy of our report best-selling book marketing checklist it will show you all the action steps that you got to take to publish books that sell no matter if you're new to self-publishing or if you've been doing this for a while there's value for you in this report i personally wrote it so i can stand by those claims to get it uh all you have to do is just click the link below and follow all the steps once again thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you soon